Liquefied natural gas, LNG, is an unusual hazard requiring specialised fire protection equipment. Angus Fire are specialists in this area, with many years' experience having leading products for this application. These have been proven in realistic testing to be highly effective both for vapour dispersion and fire control. Angus Fire LNG Turbex foam generators have been developed to meet extremely cold conditions of LNG vapour clouds, as well as operating for long time periods with direct flame impingement. This can require operating within a temperature range from around minus 100 degrees centigrade up to 1300 degrees centigrade. Expandol is the foam of choice and is widely used in existing LNG facilities around the world. Proportioning can best be achieved with water-powered foam pumps and balanced pressure proportioning systems to accurately and immediately deliver the 3% Expandol concentrate into the water supply. Historically, LNG has a safe track record. There have been relatively few plant incidents, but accidents can happen. Establishing the best practical methods to protect against any incident has led industry leaders like BP to review historical fire test data. Modern practices have redefined what is most appropriate for protecting current LNG installations. Angus Fire has been a major partner, assisting BP with developing a world-class LNG test facility at Texas A&M University in the USA. Their Emergency Services Training Institute at College Station is providing practical skills and more knowledge in handling LNG incidents. LNG is a cryogenic liquid, 83 to 99% methane with a boiling point of minus 164 degrees centigrade. It expands 620 times during the liquid to vapour phase. Spilled liquid vaporises rapidly, condensing water vapour in the air to give a characteristic white vapour cloud. As the vapour warms it rises and becomes invisible, mixing with air until it becomes potentially flammable at between 5 and 15% by volume. As the pit cools down, vaporisation reduces to a steady state condition. It is at the edges of the vapour cloud and some distance beyond where vapour and air form a flammable mixture. It is here where ignition may occur. This could transform an already difficult incident into a raging inferno. Water must be isolated from any LNG spill or pool. Otherwise sudden increases in the vaporisation rate will occur as the LNG rapidly boils off potentially escalating the incident. Water sprays may be used to control LNG vapour movements and thus reduce the likelihood of it reaching an ignition source by dispersing the gas and forcing it to rise. To avoid the gas passing between sprays, overlapping water curtains are required. To avoid gas passing under the sprays, a 180 degree fan spray that reaches down to ground level is required. Like the Angus Fire Hydroshield unit. Water runoff from these sprays should not be allowed to enter the LNG pool. Using minimal water is therefore crucial to gaining control of LNG releases. Angus LNG Turbex high expansion foam systems at 500 to 1 expansion ratio can mitigate against this hazard by delivering a well-formed and stable Expandol foam blanket onto the LNG. This reduces the vaporisation rate by 60% and warms the remaining vapours so they quickly rise away from potential ignition sources. This graph shows the reduction in methane levels detected around the 65 square metre pit as foam is applied. When ignition occurs, LNG generates three times the heat output of an equivalent size gasoline pool fire. 
Left unchecked, structural steelwork and plant are soon at risk of possible failure and sudden incident escalation. Cooling water, used to protect the integrity of the structure, will intensify the LNG fire if allowed to enter the pit. Extinction using a high-performance dry chemical powder like Monex is always an option on small spills or larger areas. However, obstructions, lower quality powders or shear fire area may prevent extinction as shown on this 45 square meter pit. Technique is also a critical factor in achieving success. Attempting extinction may not always be the best answer because of flashbacks and the inherent reignition hazard from the escaping LNG vapor. The best option is a controlled gas burn off through a high quality 500 to 1 high expansion foam blanket. This reduces the radiant heat to prevent damage to surrounding plant and provides a safer environment to emergency responders and site personnel in other parts of the facility. Historic testing has been done in sand or earth pits, often wetted with sloping sides. This does not represent an effective basis for more common current design standards. The Texas A&M pits were deliberately built to simulate current vertical sided reinforced concrete impounding basins. The NFPA 11 2005 system design standard clearly stipulates application rates are generally established by specific fire tests on LNG. It also states tests often give minimum application rates and are conducted under ideal weather conditions with no obstructions or barriers to fire control. The final design rates are generally three to five times the test rates. Foam and equipment should therefore be proven by test on LNG before selection for use in operational facilities. No other standard recognizes the demands required of high expansion foam and its generating equipment for LNG applications. Demands that have been proven in practice where water, either as rain or runoff from protecting other exposures, makes the LNG fire even harder to control. The situation shown here is in a 45 square meter pit. Even at the application rate of 10 litres per metre squared per minute, regular foam application is required to give a safe and controlled burn-off of the 17 inches of LNG over 45 minutes. Historical tests focused on the lowest foam application rates. These provided slow fire control and fail to acknowledge the importance of a significant safety margin to compensate for wind, rain and other adverse operational conditions. Operationally, this is no longer considered acceptable as safety is of paramount importance.
The BP testing was designed to explore the impact of these other factors. Tests have shown that fast radiant heat reduction is required to avoid risk of injury to personnel and damage to operating plant. Here is a simulated rainstorm increasing the vaporization rate. It makes the fire hard to control. This low application rate test resulted in pit damage from unacceptably slow fire control. In a modern plant environment with increasingly stringent safety precautions and regulatory constraints, time is of the essence. Tests run through 2004 to 2006 at Texas A&M have shown a higher foam application rate to be essential in providing a safe environment. With rapid fire control and a 90% radiation reduction within 60 seconds from foam application. This is achieved by a foam solution application rate of 10 litres per metre squared per minute through water turbine driven LNG foam generators delivering an expansion ratio of 500 to 1. These generators must be specially uprated to be capable of withstanding the cold and searing heat of an LNG spill. Possible ignition where body temperatures of above 1000 degrees centigrade are likely to be achieved. Regular industrial units are unacceptable as they can disintegrate or suddenly fail, providing no protection when it is most needed. A 316 stainless steel boiler grade body is required with 316 stainless steel aerofoil fan blades to avoid distortion and ensure reliable foam expansion is achieved. Reduced expansions will add more water, aggravating the LNG, increasing the intensity of the fire increasing the risk of plant damage. Mild steel components can soften and lose shape and strengthen the heat, while aluminium and plastics melt. Mild steel can crack with the cold. Special high temperature insulation is required around the water turbine with high temperature lubrication to prevent seizures and binding of the fan on the casing which can halt operation. Despite being engulfed in flames for over two minutes, when operated, this Angus Fire LNG Turbex foam generator worked as designed. Similarly, robust discharge hoods are needed to direct the foam into the pit and minimise the impact of wind. There is no substitute for choosing units that have been proven in real LNG fire tests. This application, giving 90% radiation reduction within 60 seconds, will be most effective for controlling LNG incidents and providing safety in LNG installations around the world. Angus Fire's engineering division are now using these findings and proven Angus Fire products in their current fire protection system designs for LNG. This recommended benchmark is destined to become the definitive standard for LNG foam fire protection for years to come. Angus Fire's LNG fire protection technology is proven to meet this challenge by exceeding these performance expectations.